Mad Money Lightning Round is brought to you by TD Ameritrade, where smart investors get smarter. It is time! It's time for the Lightning Round! 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 And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski? Dad, now the lightning round comes over. I'm going to start with Robert in New York. Robert! Uh, yes, hello, Jim. Uh, thank you for taking my call. I just want to thank you and Dr. Lisa Sue for helping me oh. pay off my house or my car. Yes! I did what you said in September. I made 189%. In yes. two years, I paid off my house. I put the money in the bank for the taxes. And I still have plenty left of AMD. I think today they had a breakout. Did you catch you that breakout when it's up that 4% Thanks. today? And, you know, just because she's buying Xilinx, that's going to end up being a great deal. Why? Because she's a manufacturer and an engineer and the toughest person in the business by AMD. Daniel, New Jersey. Daniel. Booyah, Jim. Always an honor to speak to you. Hope you're feeling better. Um, I'm Doing triggering. okay. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. <clears throat> Listen, um, I'm a new investor, and uh, I want to get into the uh, get some exposure in industrials. What do you think of Jacobs Engineering, Ticker Simple J? I think in that business, they're the best. I have never really liked the uh, companies that are involved, frankly, with construction because it's ver- or, uh, it's very hard business. But if you had to navigate it, it would be Jacobs. Don't forget Vulcan Materials and Martin Marietta Materials because those are both very good companies. I need to go to Mark in Florida. Mark. Hi, Jim. I hope you're feeling all better. I'm trying. Thank you for thank you for asking. It, it's been a bit of a struggle. I'm not going to say no to that. It was a little bit bigger than I thought, but I am back. What's going on? Well, briefly before I get to my question, I have to thank you for recommending a firm holdings. Oh now, yeah, Max is real. I've known Max for about seven years. He's real. Max left it. The guy who runs it. Uh, my question is about Dicom Industries, which I bought about seven weeks ago. The stock is currently up about 23% since I bought it. But over the weekend, there, there were some sharp downgrades to the stock, and I can't find any reason why. Um, should I sell and take my profits? Oh, no, no. Look, this- I think Dicom's terrific. Look, this is a construction engineering company for telecom, and I think that that's pretty darn good. Now, I will say um, it's had a big run. But there's plenty of, of, of business for them, and that's what matters. Their end markets are very, very strong. How about Carol in New York? Carol. Oh, hi, Jim. Wonderful to have you back well and free. Thank you. Free. So Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, just one quick thing before my stock. Uh, my family can't wait to resume birthdays at Longshoreman, so we hope you're back soon. It will be back. And uh, Bar okay. Miguel, Cinco de Mayo. That's my plan. What's up? Great. Okay, so I have a position in a company that does home building and land development. It had a big run during the pandemic until uh, November when it started falling steadily. Okay. And about a week ago, after a secondary offering announcement, it had a very big drop. Um, so in the club, I learned to be patient, and that was my plan for this Right, one. that's what we want. Right. So even though it's only been a short time in this turnaround and it certainly hasn't taxed my discipline, I do wonder... Given the sharp reversal, if something changed fundamentally, that would suggest it's and time the stock to move is, on. So it's green brick. It's green brick. Did, everybody had a gigantic December in the home business, and they did not have a gigantic December. Toll Brothers, Toll Brothers had a remarkable December. Lenar, Horton had a remarkable. They are all better than yours, and I have to call it straight because you called it straight with me, and I really appreciate the kind comments. Let's go to oh Dave in Illinois, Dave. Dr. Kramer, with all due respect, and you know I love you, but would it be asking too much to break the piggy bank and repair your unsightly machete-wielding plexiglass divot? We are. We're going to do that. Dave said to do it. Regina Gilgan, can we do it? All right, it's the lived-in look, Dave. I don't know. I lived in my home last week. That was a real downer. What's up? Jim, you may recall, I follow the lunar calendar now leaving the year of the rat, appropriately so, and soon to enter the year of the ox. Having said that, I think that Alibaba has one way ahead, as headwinds from possible U.S. investment bans have evaporated, and Ant Financial comes closer 
to an agreement with the Chinese government. Once again, Dave is incredibly prescient. I went over my bullpen for ActionLearnsPlus.com at Chapel Trust. We paired it to about 10 names. And at the top, yes, we put Baba. Why? Because exactly what Dave said. They've gotten through their problems with the government. And now I think they're free to make money. We just want to come down a little bit. Because remember, when David... Faber found Jack Ma, and he did. Jack Ma was missing. David found him his house. The stock was around 212. It's up to 260, Dave. Uh, we needed the stock to come down 20, 30 points, and then we will pull the trigger. I need to go to Zach in Pennsylvania. Zach. Hey, Jim. Thank you so much for everything that you do. We're just getting ready for spring training. How are you? Oh, man. I like our lineup. What's going on with you? Not much, man. I'm just getting ready for. Obviously, spring training, getting excited about the Phillies. I like but that. But I have a question on a stock here. They just announced a three-way split. I've had them for a while. I want to know, should I buy before the split? My stock is Sherwin-Williams. Splits don't matter. They create no revenue. What does matter is that Sherwin-Williams had a beautiful call. It's deeply in part of the housing situation. I think it was an extraordinary quarter, and you should hold on to it. And that's a win. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.